Welcome to Talking Element. This is actually kind of going to be a short one for you, but someone asked a question of, is there any way when we look at the Bible or have questions about certain things that we can research just a little bit? And I'm actually going to give you a couple websites to go to that might actually help you. It may not, and please don't think that this is the answer to everything because where it can be helpful, sometimes it can also be confusing, but it might be a way to help you to go a little bit deeper. So if you have a web browser, do this. Open up. So you can open your web browser, go here to the top, and type in blueletterbible.org, and it came up for me because I had it open. But, and then so over here on the right, you can kind of pick which version you want to look at. So we say ESV. And so imagine we want to go just to Genesis 1. We talked about Genesis 1 a few weeks ago with days and what that means. And so kind of scroll down and look at the different verses and say, oh, oh, right here. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's look what the word day is there. So, oh, here's the first one. The light is called day, yom, but he also called that first day, day. Oh, there it is, yom as well. It's the same word. So you click on this, and it actually brings you up to the Hebrew word and what it means. Day, time, year. It can mean different things depending on the context of which it is written. A time, a period in general. And so you can look at all this stuff that's in there. So imagine we want to go to the verse everybody knows, John 3.16, right? So type in John chapter 3. It'll bring up John chapter 3. Let's scroll down to John 3.16. You can look at anything in this, but John 3.16. So there's a lot of interesting things. So God, Theos, that's who God is. And then we go down, God loved, agape. And that is the word for unconditional love that God calls us to based on his love. Then the world is the word cosmos. You know, it doesn't say, or it's, it's cosmos, that God is redeeming all things. And you go down here to the end to the word believes, and oh, here's this word belief. Is that a nebulous belief in something? Well, let's see what that is. Oh, here we look at it, and it says to commit to, commit one's life to, to be committed to, to be true. And you see all of these things in what the word believe means. Now, there's another thing that is also kind of helpful as well. This is an online etymology, and you can look at what different words mean. So you can come in and see where this is, you know, E-T-Y-M-O-N-L-I-N-E. That's, you know, E-T-Y-M-Online.com. So let's go here and let's look at the word believe. So in the word believe, we bring it up, and it shows you where the origin of our current word believe came from. Again, because, you know, our word believe would be pistis in Greek, but we say belief. And so it shows you all of this. Sorry, I don't have my ads shut off, and all of a sudden you're getting ads for shoes, which I'm not in the mood for shoes or anything like that, but they keep coming up, whatever. Anyway, so then let's go into that word for trust, since it's so closely related. So we go in here, and it's like reliance on the veracity, the integrity, or the virtues of someone or something. And then it talks about religious faith, but it's the idea to trust. Belief goes to trust. Now, another one that's kind of good to go to is this place called BibleHub.com. And BibleHub.com is simply a site that will give you a bunch of different versions of the Bible. You can look at the New Living, the NIV, the New King James, the Berean Standard, the ESV. And so when you bring that up, you'll see, you know, all of the different versions. Now, imagine we want to look at something like Romans 13, which we're actually looking at this coming weekend. And so we come down here and look at it. This is the English Standard Version. Oh, so it reads a certain way. But what does it say in the NIV? Oh, well, here's the NIV. How about the New Living? There's the New Living. And so you can kind of just run through all of those things to see different. And there's also websites that will show you different versions side by side. But it's just a, a way to kind of look at different things that maybe you haven't looked at before to help you just to get a little bit bigger perspective of things you don't understand. And you can always then ask questions. Don't think that just looking at these things online give you all the answers because they don't. Uh, but they can be very helpful when you have questions. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, send them to us, questions at rlement.org. See you again in the next one.